Hi doll fam, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Today, welcome, we are having Tiny Turd Talk, which is going to be this cute little moment where I just sit here in my blanket all cozy and warm, and I answer some of y'all's questions that you have asked me, or just have a discussion in general. I did send out a story on my Instagram asking for questions. Sadly, the second set of questions that I asked were where I got the most. I, I don't know, I had it archived, but I didn't screenshot the questions, so I like lost all those questions. But I do have some from the first time I asked. They're not that many, but we'll get through them, and I do have one from YouTube that I remember, so we can go through those. Okay, so first, from Barbie Beauty Brat said, what started you in doll collecting? So if y'all don't know, this is Bobby, and Barbie Beauty Brat on Instagram is an icon. He's everything. I'm obsessed. Our favorite colors are literally blue and pink, and we're like, yes, yes, I love Bobby so much. Um, but what started me in doll collecting? That right here, Monster High is what started into my doll collecting. So because of them, I am literally here right now. But yeah, because of Monster High, I started collecting them, I think, in once they came out. My first Monster High doll was Gloom Beach Jackson, and because of that, that kind of bridged the gap into the collecting, and then Monster High went to Lollapalooza, and those were like the two main collections. Then Ever After High came out, and we started with those. Then I did collect Barbie for a little bit, but then that ended eventually because I'm not really into Barbie anymore. Um, so I kind of go in phases, and then Barbie branched off into, you know, OMGs, which then became Rainbow High, and now OMGs and Rainbow High are my main collections. Then from Ariana Roberts 473 asked me two questions and we have one here that says if you get to make a doll in Rainbow High what style would you do? What style would I do? I think I would want to do a boy doll because I would want to break the boundaries of what a boy doll can be and the potentials of a boy doll uh, because I think right now with both River Kendall and the new boy Finn Rosado I'm not loving their style too much. It's just very plain, basic style. But for the OMG guys, I think their style is pretty cool. Like, Kulev's outfit is iconic, and I actually really do like it. And I like how they're playing more with their fashions. I definitely would create a doll like that. In a dream world, I would make a pink and blue boy, and that would be everything. And I would love him so much. But I think that would be it. And, you know, I think... I would might want to do a rainbow one, but I'm saving myself because my mini me is my rainbow one. So I think that's what I would do with a rainbow high character that I can make. I would definitely make a boy with glasses and try to definitely make a boy that's different and unique. All right. And their next question is, OMG. Okay. So mine is, when are you getting or seeing rainbow high? Did you think you'll collect all of them? I think that's what they meant to say because uh, I couldn't screenshot the whole question. Um, when I first started collecting Rainbow High, I knew I was going to get all of them because when they first came out of the gate, I was obsessed with them. Because prior to this time, there was this drought of dolls where there was nothing coming out that was really good or really, you know, inspiring. So this huge drought happened and then Rainbow High happened and that blew my mind. I thought those dolls were incredible and the restyling capabilities and possibilities that happened with that and that inspiration to me, like that was everything with Rainbow High when they came out and I'm so glad they did and they really pushed me to, you know, explore more fashion and like styling and stuff like that and I don't know. But like, I feel like it's so much fun to style them according to their color and to their style. It's so cool. I really love Rainbow High and I definitely did see myself collecting all of them. So not a big shock, but of course I was going to keep collecting Rainbow High. All right, next question from Sophia Silva 16 A doll you don't like at first, like in promo pics, and now you love. So a doll I did not like at first, the first one that comes to mind is Emmy Vonda from Rainbow High Series 3. She is a doll I didn't like at all at first. When the pictures came out and everything, I was really disliking her so much. Then I got her in hand and I was obsessed with her and found her so stunning. So that's why I think um, this could potentially happen with Pacific Coast since I'm kind of very off, feeling off about those dolls. Weird tangent, 
The Rainbow High Pacific Coast Dolls are going to come with detachable feet where they can wear heels. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm happy that we're going to get the option, but I really hope the mechanic of it isn't flimsy and the foot doesn't like feel broken. That's what I hope. It's definitely interesting and I cannot wait to review those dolls because that's going to be a moment. Next question from my sister. Y'all go follow my sister. She's everything. She says, who inspired you the most to be yourself? Well, I think there was a lot of stuff that in my life that inspired me to this point. First, I do want to say my sister really inspired me because she's always on a unapologetically herself and she doesn't care what other people think about her. She's very much always does what she wants to do and she's very true to herself as a person. So I think she inspired me to be myself. I think my mom did too because she's very much like that. And just my family are people who like they don't care what other people say about them. They are going to not just be doing what they're gonna do so I definitely think my family inspired that but like in terms of celebrities or like influencers like that I would definitely say I, I'm not sure definitely okay this is something I do want to say definitely Claudina 9 did inspire me to be myself because when I was like around 13 I was watching Claudina's videos and I was so odd seeing someone you know my age just be so forward and you know loving dolls as much as me and I was like wow I could do that someday so definitely I would say that they're an inspiration but like a lot of gay celebrities have also been an inspiration and that's why I do love RuPaul's Drag Race because it inspires me so much to be proud of who I am. Drag queens are everything y'all. Like they're just regular people but they their freedom of expression is drag and I just love that so much. I don't ever see myself doing drag but I admire it so much. It is honestly one of my favorite art forms ever that I've ever seen and that's why like anything drag race I am obsessed with. Ooh, my doll box official asks what is your favorite restyle for your dolls? If I had to pick, oh my gosh, my favorite restyles. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Obviously, mainly all Rainbow High. I don't restyle any other dolls. I'm just going to throw some out there. I'm not going to show any pictures or anything because I'm keeping this one not really that edited. So if y'all don't know which ones I'm talking about, go to my Instagram. So I'm going to throw out my Cheryl from my recent photo shoot. I think she looks incredible that I did for my Doll Awards photo shoot. My mini me, obviously my fave ever. I think I also have to say I recently did a resale on Georgia. I kind of made her a winter break outfit moment. Y'all, that's one of my favorites right now. I definitely do have to say also Lyric Lucas, one of my favorites. That is a doll I did not like at all until I got her, restyled her, changed her, took her eyes out, everything like that, gave her bangs, and that's when I fell in love with her. She's definitely one I do love when I look at her. Also my Robin one, my Robin Sterling with the short hair, she looks adorable, and all my Skylar dolls with the brown eyes and the Ariana inspired looks, those are my favorite ones too. I know you probably wanted me to pick one, but I had to pick a lot because I'm so proud of them and it's like you got to be proud of what you do. All right and the last question that we have is what is your birthday from Fluffy Tree and my birthday is on November 17th. It was literally last month so y'all that birthday was iconic and I loved it so much and I think I had one more question from YouTube because I'm pretty sure someone commented on my post that I've made. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect last question. So Raven Song on YouTube asks, why the turd? Is there a reason or story behind it? Love you, Nate. We're members of the same doll family. Oh my gosh, yes. Love you too. We're all members of the doll family. Yes, I love all of y'all. Uh, why the turd? Okay, so here's the story. Let me give you all the official story of why, why the turd? Why is this everywhere? Basically, when I was coming up with a name for all my social media, I wanted something fun, catchy, and something that kind of resonated with me. And I was just trying to think something, think of something. And I love alliteration so much. And turd popped up into my head because when I was little, my sister nicknamed me Turdy. And 
that stuck with me and I was like, wait, I actually like the sound of that. So what if I name myself Nate Turd the Third? Because how cool does that sound? I love alliteration, so you get the three T's, and then you get my name in there too. And I think it's so catchy and such a unique name. I've never heard anyone say that. And all my socials, you can find me as that. And I, I really do love that name because I feel like it really encompasses me because it's kind of goofy, it's fun, lighthearted, and, you know, I love it. It's very me. That's pretty much it, everyone. Thank you all for sending in your questions. There might be another Q&A because I feel so bad because I did get a lot more questions on that other story, but Instagram did not save those responses. I think they deleted from your stories archives after a couple of days, and it has been a couple of days, which is so sad because I got so many good questions on that one. And I was trying to remember them, but then I wouldn't be able to credit the right person. So I'll just redo it over. Um, anyways, if you saw your question here or you were featured, you are incredible and I love you. And you, all of you who are watching my Vlogmas, thank you for sticking with me and watching this Vlogmas, which is definitely interesting and different for me. And just stick around because I'm still going to keep doing a lot of other stuff, so expect more things planned for this Vlogmas. Anyways, y'all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you're notified of my next video. Oh, before I go, I, I did want to say that this is very heavily, in this little Q&A moment is very heavily inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers that I watch. Watch. I'm not gonna call them out or say their name because I want y'all to guess which youtuber it is in the comments down below There is a certain youtuber that I watch I'm obsessed with and they kind of do these Q&A's and they have the blanket thing going and it's very chill and low-key and I Kind of wanted to do my the Nate Turd the third version of it Anyways, y'all I'll see y'all later and you might get another turd talks later or stick around here till Christmas because there will be a video up every single day. I will see y'all later and have an excellent rest of your day. Bye!